My, my Lord, I don't think we are on record yet. Yeah. No, you've got to place yourself on record, as I understand. Because he's saying he's appearing on behalf of the state together with Advocate Sebanda. And the gentleman who's allegedly first in the queue. My Lord, with the leave of the court, can I just respond in, in, for the purpose of Clarifying the record, my Okay, Lord. fine. My Lord, since the proceedings are starting afresh, yes. the accused have not been a, their rights to legal representation still needs to be explained, my Lord. Yeah, the court will do that. And they will until that confirmation, then we will confirm our appearances, my Lord. Now it's the other way around. As the court business. You can't address me before you've introduced yourself in court. As the court business. So if you're saying you're appearing for Mr. Who? who? Who's your client? It's Ramos uh, for Mr. Tantanzi and Sibiya. That is the first... Uh, I don't want to refer to people as accused. In the So, so it's, your client is Mr. Mr. Tantanzi and Mr. Sibiya. Tantanzi and Sibiya, right? And yours, sir? As it is a court member, I'm Mr. Nisi. Nisi, okay. He is advocate Nisi. I was actually appearing on behalf of Mr. Mnube. Mr. Mnube. Who's... Okay, fine. Said accused number three, but he said no. Okay, the fine. The S.Y. trial. All right. Is it in the court? Thank you, my lord, for the record. I'm advocate Zitsule Dengumalo. I'm representing Mr. Mapisa. Ma? Ma? Mapisa. Mapisa. Yes, thank you. Okay. And the court business, my lord, for the record, advocate Mishalo for accused number five, Mr. Ndoli. Okay. Oh, yeah, before this state puts the prosecution's charge. This, what the court has to do, because these are proceedings de novo, technically, technically, I've got to be satisfied that uh, the accused's rights were explained to them when the second indictment was handed over to them. Are you with me? Okay, we start with the first gentleman. As the court pleases, my lord, my surname is Ramo Sepili. Ramo Sepili. Ramo Ramo Sepili. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the initial is S, my lord. Okay. And I appear on behalf of accused number one and two, or Mr. Sibia and Mr. Ntanzi. Mr. Sibia and Mr. Mr. Ntanzi. Ntanzi. As the court pleases, okay. my lord. Yeah. Who's first, Mr. Sibiya? Babu Sibiya. There's Mr. Sibiya. Can you please finish me with your full name, sir? Sibiya. Sibiya. Mozi Kaukule Elwa Stemba Sibiya. Has a fresh indictment been served on you? Madre, when I also try, when I was going to pay for the Matana, or Tolisa Matana, I know. Yes, this is a put. Yes, I'm fed. Understood, my lord? Ah, Elochin by visa, a church sheet. A church sheet, you get there. Yes, have you been furnished with the church sheet? The Banyamazu, you let us visa, a church sheet. Sir, have you? Okay, my turn. Is it um, the current one or the, 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 the previous one, my lord? The current one. L Lila Manch. The current one, I haven't received it, my lord. Counsel, have you taken instructions concerning the new indictment? 
Well, no, uh, they were using one indictment. Uh, I thought both of them have been served. No, no. If I may approach my lawyer. Yeah, approach your clients because it's not clear whether. <laughs> Mr. Sibia, yes. he was not served with an, a new indictment, my lord. However, accused number two, Mr. Ntanzi, was served with an, a new indictment on Friday. Why was Mr. Sibia not served with an indictment? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Me, my lord. Haven't you followed it up with the state? It, 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 it only appeared now because they were served on Friday, my lord. Oh. I was under the impression that all of them had, because we were discussing it now, so we were using yeah. one copy. I thought you, you guys have taken the opportunity to discuss such issues. Mr. Maloy, are you aware that, uh, that Mr. Sibia has not been served with an indictment? Well, my lord, firstly, the indictment was served on the legal, all the legal represent, rep representatives, and secondly, the uh, investigating team was requested to serve the indictments on the accused, and the information that I received was that the indictment has been served. Okay. Your second line, to say. When was he served with the indictment? He says, my lord, on Friday. When? At, at, at prison. At lord. prison? Yes. Is it not together with uh, accused number one? They are at different centers. Oh, they are different centers? Yes. Okay, let's ask the, the rest of the gentlemen. Have you been served with, no, no, with no, indictments? No, no. Okay, so it's so-called accused number one who's, who has not been served. So far it is accused number one, uh, when are you going to arrange? Uh, the Lordship, accused number two did receive <coughs> the, the indictment, even though accused number two and accused number three um, actually <coughs> dissatisfied with the content of that charge sheet, my Lord. Okay, fine, I'll come to that. Mr. Baloy, this indictment, is it similar or the same as the one which was preferred to the accused at the inception of the previous trial? Indeed, and that's why I thought maybe the confusion might arise. It's, it's a mirror image of that in indictment. There were some minor amendments, but in essence, the, the charges are the same. The wedding is the same. Um, we just elaborated on why the minimum sentence is applicable and corrected the age of the deceased. But everything else, my lord, is still the same. Okay, let me ask this, the representatives. You were involved with the previous trial, is that not so, sir? I was, my lord, uh, but not from the beginning of the trial. Okay, but the indictment have you perused I have, indeed. Is it the same as the one you're defending your clients in terms of at the previous Try. It is, my lord, about the minor changes that they complain about, my lord. What is it they're complaining about? Uh, my lord, uh, um, Amakamasa <laughs> Thank you. 
Malot, uh, Malot, the old one, paragraph five thereof. There's a time difference. What is it now? It says, and I read, at about 2,000 hours, <coughs> two persons entered the house armed with a firearm and a knife and demanded money and cell phones. And then, now on the new one, it says, during the course of the evening, two persons entered <coughs> into the house armed with a firearm and knife and demanded money and cell phones. So there's no specification of the 20... But the date, hours. the date is specified. In, in the summary. And then the second one also is paragraph six. Yes. In the new one, it says, a scuffle ensued between Mr. Senzo Mehiwa and, and one of the assailants. A shot was discharged, hitting the floor, and split, <coughs> splinter struck Ms. Zandilele Kumalo on the right ankle. A second shot went off, and Mr. <coughs> Mehiwa was then shot once in the chest whilst in the standing position, and the bullet went through his chest, body, and exited his back and hit the back door that Mr. Mayua was standing against. This was a second, this was a contact wound. Then, in the new one, it says, a scuffle ensued between Mr. Mayua and the person armed with a firearm who was dreadlocked. He had a gold slit on, on one of his teeth, and he was wearing a khaki colored jacket. <coughs> a shot was discharged, hitting the floor, and splinter struck Ms. Zandile Loren Kumalo on the right ankle. A, a second shot went off, and Mr. Mayua was then shot once in the chest while he's in a standing position, and the bullet went through his chest, body, and exited his back, and hit the back of the door that Mr. Mayua was standing against. This was a contact shot. Those are those are the only amendments. <laughs> Council, Mr. Minisi, let's hear you. Do you agree that the materiality of the charge sheet, according to the state, is still the same, except that there are addendums added which clarify some of the charges? I definitely agree, Madam. I think the essence is still the same. Still the same. Yes. yes, sir? You compare the... Yes, I do confirm that. Thank you. Ms. Mishalolo? I confirm that the charges are still the same. The amendments were in respect of substantial facts. Okay. Now, have you taken proper instructions? Because the first accused says he wasn't served with an indictment. Have you taken proper instructions from him, Mr. I have, my lord. I have, except the fact that he did not receive the indictment, but we were discussing from the new indictment in the morning, my lord. So you did discuss the new indictment with him? We did him discuss this the new morning. indictment. In fact, mm. there are the ones him specifically mm. that highlighted these differences to me. Okay. Does the position obtain for all the councils? That you, in the morning, you discuss the new indictment with your clients? Mm -hmm. We did that. You did? Yes. Yes, thank you. I did, my God. Thank you. And Mr. Chalon? Yes, I confirm, my Lord. Okay. So you were given instructions, all of you, I by your clients, the previous clients. I confirm. Yeah, this may seem to be a redundant <laughs> question I'm posing to you, but I'm obliged to pose it because uh, this is a new trial. And in terms of the, the statutes, Constitution, Section 35, 1F, for instance, the court must satisfy itself that uh, the accused person who has either been re-arrested or re-detained, after being served with a new indictment, he again gives instructions to his or her counsel. So that position is verified. Okay? Okay. 
Yeah, well, section 35, uh, uh, subsection 1F, Bula, or in Cantole Fulguti, it made a Yanel say, putting a Penabama letter, Bark at Seramadu, we are going to say. Maja, you're in Cantole Fulguti, it in Segi Segay. Ramana del Bachelor, Oguti, in Sunny Lumedo, Umun Mamuni, Oguti, and Atola Equitalat, as was with Alpatale in the Malia, Yabanda Malumet. Um, no, which you are going to get a man, Liga Ganjalo, we are was game, which went to stay so much in Catholic season than the illegal eight was excessive to Tony May. Lao Malungelo, Bumco, or a pool, and Uba Siso to Bega came out to one Siso Canada, which are in Canada, which Abamanga del Bachelor. Yes, what? Did he confirm it? Magic, a near Tinsegisage, Uguti Aba made base of being. Banca Sela, Lao Malungelo, and Tambo Batin Segisaga, and Uti Bayon to Mela Glitana, Vacanela Fans in Jena, Nasho again, and Uti Aisia, Manga, Tubega, Zonka de Zuzin. Another Baba Jan Manga de Luca Baba Jaro input Water, Sela Malungelo, Jen Boba, Intermedia, and Abuja, and Company Uti, Richard Sheet. What <laughs> Um, accused one, two, four, and five, their rights were explained as far as <coughs> the resumption of the smelter, my lord, is concerned. Accused number three, he says that such rights in terms of section 35 were not explained to him. Okay, fine. Then the court is obliged to explain your rights to you. <laughs> He says, Many so much in a in a text and a one year. Would you if you if if finally if finally in Canton would you my text and a one year? That's what I'm going to start. Understood, my lord? Yeah. In pursuance of the section 35 rights, I wish to quote the case of. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Transvaal, versus Felyun, 2005, 1, SACR 505, SCA. It's the judgment of the full court in Bloemfontein, SCA. In this case, what actually happened also, a person was charged with murder, and when he appeared in the magistrate's court, he pleaded guilty to the charge. And when the trial commenced in the High Court, then he pleaded not guilty. Madame 
Yeah, the long and the short of it is, is that uh, the SCA, because there were some technical problems regarding the plea, they made an order that the case should start de novo. And the presupposition is that uh, because it is a new trial, your Section 35 rights have to be again explained to you like I tried to do. Okay. All right, that's one trial. And also in the case of the state versus, sorry, it's Gumbi versus the state. Yes, this is Gumbi, sorry, and others. The citation is two th 2018 to SACR 676 SCA. In this case, which happened here in, Ju in, in Pretoria, my late brother. George Webster handled the same case. Unfortunately, he couldn't write the judgment because he was incapacitated physically. And what consequently happened, another judge was appointed to rehear the case. And what he or she did was to continue as if nothing has happened by eliciting from the various councils that's the evidence which has been led in the previous case. Do you agree or give consent that it should be made part of the trial, which is now continuing before a new judge? The assent by this council was supposed to circumvent the unfortunate delay of the trial. But the SEA held that that was unlawful. So the evidence which was led in the previous trial, yeah, it's a nullity. And this submission is buttressed by the fact that this court on Friday, a judge had an application declaring the previous case in which you were all involved to be a nullity. <laughs> Okay. 
Thanks. Yeah, that's why today you have to. Apologies, my lord. The inter what's the interpretation? It's not a, a, a true interpretation, my lord, to, special to my client. Mr. Prosik, uh, Mr. <laughs> Interpreter? Um, I, I, I think I've tried, I've tried to interpret it as the court has placed it. Perhaps I'll put it in short or not, and put it in a, in a better way, because she understands the language. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand most languages in South Africa. What is this one? By saying, I don't think it's out of the context of saying it was a nullity. That which was never there is a nullity. Although it was originally there, now it has been declared a nullity. Okay. Is that okay, Mr. Chalot? As the court business. So that is why you have to replead today. Because a criminal trial only starts when an indictment has been handed over to you. Before you plead, the case has not begun. So the lease, as they call it in, <laughs> in Latin, the case itself starts after you have pleaded to the church which has been preferred against you, okay? Understood, my lord? Okay, Mr. Baloui. Proceed. As the court pleases, my lord. We confirm what the court has just placed on record regarding the order that was made on Friday, the 14th of July. We beg leave, my lord, to hand up, just for the sake of completeness, the, the order as Exhibit A. Exhibit A? Yes, indeed, my lord. The various councils are aware of the order. Is that not so? We are not. In, All of you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I confirm. It, 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 it was sent to them. Okay, fine. Yes. All right. We, we have started to compile a bundle for the court. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay, yes. Yes. Uh, on the first page is the list of exhibits that will be utilized shortly, my lord, when yeah, okay. trial resumes. Exhibit A will then be the, uh, the order. And right. as paragraph one of the order, just for the sake of uh, completeness, uh, I'll proceed to paragraph two. Uh, the order reads as follows. I'm satisfied that it is in the interest of justice that proceedings before Judge Maumela be declared a nullity. And this motion, my lord, was brought on the back of the ill health of uh, Judge Maumela. And paragra paragraph three thereof reads as follows. That the case should commence de novo before another judge to be assigned by the judge president or the deputy judge president. And this where we are today, my oh lord. Okay, thanks. Now, <clears throat> the second point, my lord, is that we have agreed that the matter should stand down until tomorrow. There are a few aspects that my colleagues would like to iron out with the 
regarding the, uh, the, the defense with the Legal Aid Board. We have indicated, my lord, that we don't have a problem in the matter standing down until tomorrow for them to iron out the issues regarding to, the, to, to legal aid. Is yes. that the only impediment to commencing the trial? Yes. Well, um, my learned friends, subject to confirmation by them, they've indicated that they would like this issue uh, to be ironed out first. That is the first point. The second point is that we've agreed that we need to hold a pre-trial conference regarding this matter. And we have agreed, my lord, that we can hold the pre-trial tomorrow before your lordship in the morning. Why not today? Well, today they're going to sort out the issue of legal representation with, the, with legal aid. Now, lord. tomorrow we need to sort it out. Yes. We, we are available. That's, uh, this, that was the suggestion of my learned friends, my lord, that they would like to sort no, out waste the issue the for, whole morning and for the, the whole rest of afternoon. the day. Yes. I can make an order that, because all councils are here, they must have a pre-trial with you and Mr. Sibanda. Yes. Okay. Yes, we, my lord, we, we are ready. Yeah, please. The witness is also here, so we, we are ready. So you can plead today. <clears throat> My Lord, for uh, case number one and two, mm -hmm. I can't at the moment, My Lord, because we need to first confirm our financial instructions from the legal aid board, as well as what emanates from the pre-trial conference so that I can take instructions from them or not, as the court places. Mr. Macy? Madam, that is the position to, I think, addition there too. We will endeavor to personally contact the office of the legal aid board South Africa because the information that we receive from them is to the effect that we need to be very cautious to commence with the trial before they complete their processes in their offices. But we are of the view that we probably might approach them and request them to allow us to proceed with it, to start and proceed with the case when they are also busy with the processes of processing our application in the interest of time. Further on, we definitely do need the pre-trial conference for purposes of taking proper instruction from our clients for the legal process. Yes, sir. My Lord, there, there was information that was escalated that there is a form that has to be completed and signed by the accused. So I, I need to be properly instructed if, of, if uh, the, the application is a success. And then thereafter, we conduct a pre-trial conference in open court. Yes, Thank you. Say, my Lord, <coughs> me that we need uh, the inductions of the court, my Lord, to approach the legal aid offices as it has been indicated to me by Mr. Mochuto that <coughs> there, is, there are forms that need to be completed by Mr. Ntuli, my Lord, before the trial starts. Where are the offices of the legal aid board? I understand Mr. Nisi knows that. It's ten, I'm told, my Lord, it's 10 minutes away from here. It's, it's yeah, here. Why can't I make an order that Mr. Mujutu should come here? So that's, because this is an exceptional matter in the sense that uh, a lot of time, I'm told, has been dis hmm. dispensed. We'll appreciate it that. It is 10 order. minutes away. Yeah. He can come to court and we can tell him that all of you want legal aid assistance. We'll appreciate that, my lord. I've given the contact number for Mr. Majuto to the register of the court, my lord. So what should we do? We call Mr. Majuto to come here. Whilst you are ha having a press, a pre-trial conference. A pre-trial conference. As the court business. <coughs> then that makes sense. Yes. Mr. Valoui, what's your view? That's in order, my lord. <coughs> so what's the time now? 
Um, the time How long now do you need for the pre-trial conference? It's 10, 10 past 12. Okay. We, okay. How long do you need for a pre-trial conference of a matter where, as I read the record, about four witnesses were led? My Are you with me? My not, we are under the impression that the previous proceedings have been nullified. Yes, of course. Now we need to engage the state. Yeah. Now we need to engage the state, my lord. To do what? On the on the evidence that is going to be pros that is going to be presented by the state. Mr. Baloy says he has not amended the charge sheet. Have you ma amended the charge sheet, sir? No, no, my lord. The charges are still. Have exactly you the same. acquired new witnesses, sir? No, my lord. So the list of witnesses which is enunciated yes. in the charge sheet, are the, are, yes. are, is that also going to be the list of witnesses the, who indeed, are going to be led? The indeed, my Lord. Nobody new comes from the, the planet Mars. <laughs> no, my Lord. Everything is still existing. So exactly everything is new except that it's a new trial. Yes. Everything and is still existing. Sorry exactly for the tautology. Yes. <laughs> are you with, together? Sir Baloy says, the indictment is the same except for those paragraph five and six where the elicitation of the time and the names of some of the alleged accused persons were modified. But otherwise, my, he says. <coughs> my Lord, with due respect. Yeah. Lord, can I ask that we don't take it for granted that the state will be doing everything still the same, if we can be afforded that opportunity. There's, a, there's, a, there's Mr. Malou, Malou. To discuss the state with the state regarding the issues pertaining to pre-trial conference, and then as soon as we are done with that, my lord, okay, fine. we then proceed to trial. Okay, so the pre-trial conference will start today. As the court pleases. Is that so, sir? What, in, what's your time now? In, in, indeed, my lord, the thing should be about quarter past 12, uh, 13 minutes past 12. Okay. <coughs> so the court will postpone this matter to tomorrow at 10, on the assumption that the pre-trial conference shall have been held. Is that, is that okay? F that's fair enough. And then me. Mr. Mojutu, I'll make arrangements with the register to phone him or her to come here in court. Is that okay? Please, my lord. With the court's permission, there's just one aspect that I need to mention. Mm. My lord, there has been a live broadcast of the audio recording of the witnesses up until this point, but there was no uh, live broadcast of the visual images. Um, Solely, my lord, to protect the, uh, the, the the witnesses. So this is for the safety and security of the uh, of the witnesses. Um, this was confirmed. There was a ruling by Judge Maumel in the previous proceedings, confirmed on the 18th of May, 2023, when the state requested a limitation on the audiovisual coverage of the evidence of the fifth witness who objected to the live broadcast. We have reached an agreement, my lord, with uh, the members of the media as well as the defense that the status quo can continue to obtain. In other words... There's no status quo. We said we're starting afresh. Yes. Uh, uh, what I mean is that the, the yeah, audio you. live broadcast yeah, can you. continue. And we uh, just want to put on record that mm. that is the arrangement. There was further an agreement with the press regarding certain um, issues, my lord, and that has also been clarified with them. All I'm saying, my lord, is that the, the live audio broadcast of the proceedings can continue. The as, directive, sorry, the directive as it has been. given by my predecessor, we want it to, to be made retrospectively applicable in this matter. Yes. 
Well, um, except for the directive, uh, the, the proceedings themselves, because that related only to one witness. So what, uh, one witness? Yeah, only one witness. Um, but we have no problem in the uh, proceedings being continued to be carried live as far as the audio recording is concerned. Okay, fine. With that caveat, then, the matter is postponed to tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Mr. Um, they can again the application for free access at 10 o'clock. I can take a confusion to the shield of the city. Calling what one of the city, a Babinaya, and look back in Canton, which is too bad. Um, a man, and I get a good one, two double time. Okay. Are they accused on bail, or what is the situation? Uh, all the accused are in custody, my lord. Okay. At various detention centers, the state will request that they be postponed in custody. Accused number one is at Mother B prison. Mm. Accused two and three are at Kosi Mampuru. Okay. Um, I know accused number five is at Lukop. I must just verify as to accused number four, I think, is also at Lukop. So four and five are at Okay. Lukop. In the spirit of the new proceedings, you are advised that you have the right to apply for pay. What happened in the past is the past. Um, Gulo Moya Understood, my lord? Yeah, the only caveat is that uh, if any one of you wants to do that, this court can't entertain a bail application because it ceased with your trial. Arrangements will have to be made for another judge to hear the bail application. Okay. <laughs> Understood, my lord. Okay, then the court shall adjourn.